Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 10-inch left-hand and right-hand side Never Adjust Electric Trailer Brake Assemblies for 4,400 pound axles. Now these are electric brakes, which are easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically these electric brakes require only an electric brake controller, which we do sell separately on our website. You don't have to worry about any brake actuators or hydraulic lines with electric brakes. The brake shoes on these brakes, they are lined with an automotive grade friction material and that friction material is fully bonded to the shoe, uh, pad or the shoe. It's not riveted, so it gives you a lot longer life and more braking torque. We mentioned these are never adjust brakes, which means they'll automatically adjust to deliver optimum performance and braking power. And there's no need for manual brake adjustments. Basically, once you install these, you'll do an initial brake adjustment, and then from then on, they'll automatically adjust themselves. And the way you can tell that is you'll notice this cable that runs down here, hooks to the adjustment wheel down here, and that is what will automatically adjust your brakes as you go back, up forwards and backwards. <clears throat> now, this does include the 10-inch driver side and passenger side electric trailer brake assemblies. And the way you can tell the difference in them. Now, of course, when you order new ones, they'll have a sticker on it that'll say left-hand side, and over here it'll say right-hand side. But the way, if that sticker wasn't on there, the best way to tell is if you look at the length of the pad that's on the shoe. So on this shoe, you'll notice the pad goes from here to here, and over here, it's all the way from here to here. So this is the longer pad. This is the shorter pad. The shorter pad is the primary shoe, and that always faces the front of the trailer. So when these are installed, this will always face the front of the trailer. And the same way on the other one, if you look at the size of the pad, you can see that's the shorter one, that's the longer one. So that's going to tell you that the shorter one is the primary, faces the front of the trailer. <clears throat> if you notice, the mounting hardware is included. This does install to a four-bolt brake mounting flange. You can see the four bolts right there. These parts are made in the USA. Dimensions again, they're a 10 inch by two and a quarter inch. And when we say that dimension, what that really is, 10 inches is going to be the diameter. So if we measure from this side to this side, you can see there's your 10 inch measurement. The two and a quarter is going to be the width of the pad. So if we put a ruler on that, there's your two and a quarter width. <clears throat> now the application for this, this will fit most standard hub and drum assemblies, including Dexter. But one note I do want to mention is these do not work with the Lippert 4,400 pound axles due to clearance issues with the brake mounting flange. As we mentioned, the brake mounting flange is a four bolt flange at the very back here. You can see there's your four bolts. And just to give you some measurements that will help you out, if we measure from the center of this top mounting bolt to the center of the one right across from it, you can see center to center is right at two and seven eighths inches. If we go to the bottom row, center to center, it's going to be right at three and a quarter inches. And then the measurement from the top to the bottom one is going to be right at three inches. The wheel size these will accept is 14 inch to 15 inch wheels. And again, the axles they fit on are 4,400 pound axles. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 10-inch left-hand and right-hand side never-adjust electric trailer brake assemblies for 4,400-pound axles.